Hey guys, welcome to Cluck Quirk Dandy Noodles for another breakdown of solo leveling. This is episode number three. Hello and welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope your week is treating you well. Thank you for tuning back in and make sure you guys are subscribed. We are breaking down a few shows this season, and this show in particular is just one that I keep asking so many questions. I've got so many questions about this show. This week's episode was also another one which answered a few questions, created a few more questions. Very excited to break it down with you guys. I hope you are looking after yourselves. Let's get going so i don't have the biggest script in the world but i do have a few bits and pieces i want to talk about now i am initially completely shocked that anybody survived and that includes the people who actually got out i was really expecting the girl to die just for the whole she was building up for the whole let's go and get food at some point and then she's alive and she's okay but she's obviously traumatized i think everybody who did survive is definitely going to be living life in a very different way after what they've experienced it was very interesting though for them to say that the temple was completely vanished there was no remains there's nobody there or anything and it's gone so whether the instance timed out or not if i'm talking in game terminology perhaps but i was very shocked to know that that door when it did open wasn't a trap it was actually the exit so i'm not quite sure what that means in particular to that instance and what happened and what we saw last week happening to Jin. but very interesting i was sad that he still had no mana when they came around and they were like let's test you just in case you've had this second awakening thing i was like okay this is great he's got a chance for a second life they're gonna maybe ask him to be part of a guild and it's gonna be great he still had no mana which is weird i really was expecting after what we'd seen something to have occurred something to have changed he does seem to be living now in a different world in a sense on a different drum beat where we've got floating panels everywhere that would kind of be really annoying the fact that you've got these panels that don't go away i i don't know i, I would have this one just like hovering over my bed i could just imagine it right now and it's just really strange it's good that nobody else can see it but it does make him out to be a bit of a weirdo sitting on a bench in a hospital talking to himself i do talk to myself anyway so i could probably fit right in maybe i'm just actually seeing all these panels and i just haven't told anybody yet it's interesting i did note that the training regime that he's told to do and he ignores that did remind me of the one punch man training routine i don't know if it's the same because i haven't watched one punch man in a long time i know season three is coming out this year and it's been handled by different studios so i will be watching that because i am a big one punch man fan i just feel like it might be different i know he's doing like a 100 push-ups sit-ups type thing it does feel like maybe it is the one punch man training routine so if you do know that routine and you can tell me if it's the same or not let me know in the comments because that is a nice little easter egg if it is or not i don't know which one came first and when i saw the pen penalty for not working out i did start to wonder solo leveling is essentially is just a big old shame on you for not working out anime it's an anime that's going to put everybody to shame for not working out if you don't work out we're going to send you to a run for your life situation and survive however long i think it's four hours so the guy is literally missing for four hours and the doctors can't find him anywhere he returns and nobody asks any questions i do wonder if the parallel dimension that he gets sent to has different timings maybe so maybe him being away for four hours in one world they only couldn't find him for half an hour so he can just be like oh yeah i went to the toilet or i'm just here outside of my bed on the floor that just that's normal for me i did really enjoy this week because this week's episode is a lot of introducing you to the basics of the world again and i do like the aspects that we've got going on with the second world of it being a bit sword art and line the fact that he gets loot boxes distribute his points and everything whether that's going to translate into mana or not i don't know because maybe now that he's said he's done some training if the guys came back and they measured his mana would it be higher because i know he's at 10 would that now be re registering at like 20 or something i also like the world building we get this week gate forecasts so people are telling us where the gates are avoid this area this has been handled by these guys you can see that there's many different groups we are told there's five main guilds which is quite cool we do get to see one of them appointing the lady from i think episode one a new task is going on a b mission which is quite cool there's so much going on i love the fact that they're starting to really pad the world out so it feels like i i understand what's going on i kind of understand how things work the music as well sounds good and you guys know me i do like my hiroyuki sawano it's probably the thing that if you've been on the channel long enough if you hear an, a soundtrack or an op with the hymn in it you generally know that clockwork dandy needles is probably going to be a little bit biased i can't help it his music is really really good the soundtrack this week is fantastic i like the soundtrack when we start to get the mum 
flashback and the soundtrack is very nice because it starts really low key and then it starts to build and build and build until we find out he's been he's made it to the hunters association and it's a very big moment for him because you start getting that brass and that that woodwinds kind of joining and it all builds up and this is me the fanfare i've made it to being a hunter despite the fact that i am weak and we do see the struggles of him being weak him apologizing i'm useless i'm sorry because it's a world that now needs strength everyone's probably thinking why are you trying you're basically a civilian as we've heard him being called it also gives us a lot of nice background to Jin and his motivations that he just didn't want to give up and we are introduced to sleeping illness that his mum has where she just won't wake up because of the manner in the world i guess his mum's fate is tied to the closing of the gates and whatever happens to the gates strong motivation for our hero to see what will happen if eventually there is a world where the gates are closed and she might wake up one day now i do like the instance bit for me was really really nice seeing it clouding over i like the fact that he goes blue and you can see people still going in and out of that station because he's now in a parallel dimension running alongside it i like the fact that he tries to get out and the screen pops up telling him you can't do that the music at this point is very very nice now i do love the attention to detail when it comes to the goblin and their movement the fact that they are short but they're using their numbers to actually overwhelm instead which shows you how they as a species has gotten used to their stature gotten used to what they have got to play with they they use that to their momentum they gain momentum and they start jumping up at him to overwhelm him i like the details that i've gone into this enemy has these stats this enemy can do this this is how they hunt i like the flow and the momentum of this fight in particular i also like the introduction of a new boss i think it's the metal jaw wolf which is quite terrifying i do wonder if him howling is a sense that he's gonna call in friends i don't know if Jin dies in the instance whether he'll just get turned back he maybe will get a chance to either teleport out now or he might be given a chance to revive properly as we've seen him already do so it's gonna be very interesting to see if anybody else has access to this power whether some of those top s ranked hunters maybe also have that similar power as well be very curious to see how these developments actually play into the main plot but i am very excited to see where it goes i'm sad that it again ended on a cliffhanger but it's a show that's had me hooked since it basically aired we're at the free episode mark now so if you are watching and you're doing the free episode chance thing you should know if you're going to continue or not by this point it's very clear this show is deserving of your um, your watch time and it's only 12 episodes definitely excited to see what happens with him i am supporting our boy all the way i really want him to power up and i want to see how good he gets very good episode and i very i very much enjoyed watching it so thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you're also in enjoying solo leveling even if you are an anime only or a, a manhwa reader you have to let me know down below if i've got actually any anime onlys in the, in the comments i know there's a few manhwa readers floating around and thank you so much for not spoiling i really appreciate it you guys are awesome but let me know in the comments below are you also new to solo leveling like me have a great day guys Bye bye